Welcome! Today we'll be looking at a very interesting knife, and this is the Harley Davidson Money Clip. Used to be known as the Benchmade Bench Might. Um, at least the design was. Um, this knife is actually getting pretty hard to get since it is discontinued. Um, actually, the whole Harley Davidson line of knives is now discontinued, as they were not signed very well, apparently. So at least that was what I was told. So as you can see, it has a very interesting skull design on the um, button that you actually press. Um, that button is actually for opening the knife. You push down right there. Um, kind of has a lever right there. That's actually the type of lock, the leviator, or something like that. You grab a hold of there and open it up. Same to close, press down do that. You can't open it up without pressing on that button as it locks it both closed and open. Um, which one interesting thing about that is on the Benchmite a lot of people bought second um, on the secondary market springs to put back there and it would turn it into an automatic when you press that button. Um, Benchmate actually did make a version that was an automatic so of the bench might not not of this so let's take a look at it lots of torque screws um, we have a stainless steel body uh, what I believe is stainless steel at least Harley Davidson uh, design bench made all eight and made in Taiwan very interesting coating they have on here a little bit different than what you normally see. Um, it is probably a Teflon coating, kind of cheaper look to it, honestly. Um, Harley Davidson motorcycles with the skull. There's the money clip area. Also could be used as a pocket clip. Very nice knife. Um, very pocketable. You have the jimping or the backspacer with lots of jimping on it. Um, the feel in the hand, you get a full three-fingered grip. Um, and your finger or your thumb fits right on that spine. They consider this a uh, Tanto version. It's more like a sheep's foot blade or reverse Tanto maybe. Uh, definitely not just a normal Tanto at all. So, there you go. Also, if you know where I can get a secondary market back spring to turn a couple of these into automatics, it would be very neat. I definitely want one to get the back spring at least. Looks like they painted actually inside of the thumb neck. As some of it looks like it's come out right there. Not sure. Pretty thin blade. It's a pretty thin knife in general, honestly. Um, don't really have another knife right out in the open to compare it to, but there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day.